In this video, we will discuss the similarities and differences between shaping and planning. Shaping and planning are both conventional machining processes used to produce straight, flat surfaces. Let's discuss the similarities and differences between them. Similarities between shaping and planing. Purpose. Shaping and planing are conventional machining operations that are used to produce straight, flat surfaces. Cutting tool. Both use single point cutting tools. Machining principle. In both operations, material is removed by the cutting tool in a reciprocating motion, which produces a flat surface. Material removal. Both processes are used for removing material from workpieces in the form of chips, unlike non-conventional machining processes. Operation type. Both are interrupted cutting operations, meaning the cutting tool engages and disengages the workpiece periodically. Differences between shaping and planing. Feature machine tool. Shaping operation is performed in a machine tool called shaper, also called shaping machine. Planing operation is performed in a machine tool called planer, also called planer machine. Movement. In shaping, the cutting tool reciprocates while the workpiece is stationary. In planning, the workpiece reciprocates while the cutting tool is stationary. Size of the workpiece. Shaping is used for smaller workpieces with intricate details, while planing is used for larger workpieces. Size of machine. Shaper is traditionally a small machine and preferred for smaller jobs. Planer is larger machine and can accommodate heavier and larger jobs. Productivity. Shaper has short stroke lengths, so it provides low material removal rate, thus shaping is less productive. Planer has longer stroke length and can take heavy cuts, so material removal rate is high, thus planing is more productive. Number of cutting tools. Only one cutting tool can be used at a time in shaping operation. Multiple cutting tools can be used simultaneously in planning operation. Quick return mechanism. In shaping, the quick return mechanism is integrated with the ram that holds the cutter. So shaping machine uses quick return mechanism for tool movement. In planning, the quick return mechanism is integrated with the work table that holds the work pieces. So planning machine uses quick return mechanism for work table movement.